Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to today's Pick A Card Reading and it is Spirit Guide Messages. I hope you're all doing great today. Um, welcome to anyone new, welcome back to anyone returning. My name's Kat. I upload every Monday and Friday with an occasional exception when I forget. Um, <laughs> so I hope everyone's uh, doing great. Um, if you'd like a private reading with me, you can check the description box below. There's a link as to my website and also to Etsy if you want to buy a reading. Um, today's reading is very short, it is general and intuitive and this is how to improve your week, how to solve a, a, a nagging problem or to answer a burning question regarding a current situation, okay? So let's have a look at Spirit Guide Messages, here we go. Hi Group 1, how are you doing? So your Spirit Guide Messages for this week are Six of Coins, Ten of Swords, Page of Coins, Ace of Coins. Uh, the Chariot, which is move in this deck. This is strengthening bonds. Interesting, you've got three lots of coins. You've also got the Page of Coins with the Ace of Coins. So the Page of Coins is like the Ace of Coins in action. So it's this new start. So they're saying, take action. Move on from the old. Move on from the old pain. Let go of the old pain and move into the new. Six of Coins is saying someone's going to make you an offer or... It's about giving and receiving in equal measure. It's important that you don't overgive to a situation. It might be that you're trying to resurrect an old friendship, relationship, partnership, work situation. If you are, this could be a suggestion. It's time to let it go. If it's dead and over, let it go. The Ten of Swords is saying you've definitely suffered some sort of betrayal or problem. They're saying that whatever that was, the worst is over now. Something new is on the horizon, but you the, what they're saying is you do have to take action. You have to overcome the problems. You have to choose to move forwards. The thing is, there are still some things in your way and you can't see exactly how you're going to get where you want to get at the moment because you may be able to see one or two steps, but you can see that there are obstacles in the way. On the one hand, what they're saying is just take the step you're guided to take and trust that the next steps will unfold as you make those first initial forays forwards. They're also saying with the move card that you can't necessarily have it exactly the way you want it. You know, the direction you need to go in now might not be straightforward. You might have to take a diversion. You might have to attack things from a different direction. You might have to overcome some problems. In fact, you certainly will need to overcome some problems, but that doesn't mean you can't succeed. I do see you coming into greater balance and things evening out for you. But you have to make that choice to leave that disappointing situation behind. And that's kind of their key message for you this week or around this question or problem. Hope this makes sense. Loads of love. See you on the next reading. I want a private reading in the meantime. See you soon. Hi, Group 2. How are you doing? Spirit Guide messages for you this week. Knight of Swords, Six of Wands, Death, Nine of Coins and Observe. Okay, so... For you guys, they're saying that you will achieve a lot through letting go of an old situation, which is a little bit like group one. Maybe there's something celestial going on this week. I don't know. I don't really follow astrology, which I know is quite rare for a tarot reader, but anyway. Yes, so there's definitely something to be said this week. The solution to your problem is to let go of the past. We've got the death card with the six of wands. You have achieved it. It might not feel like it in the minute, but you have overcome the problem. So victory is in recognizing the battle and letting go of the thing that has died or is over. Death doesn't mean death. It means transformation. Your life will be transformed through letting go of this old fight. The six of wands says you've overcome the major battle. So let go of the old fight or the old problem or the old situation and allow something new to come in the nine of coins for me suggests that there's some sort of comfort zone to the problem you've got or the situation you've got going on it's important to let go of the past it's important to not react in the same old way it's important to not it to push beyond your comfort zone the observe card with the hanged man at this end and the knight of swords at this end I feel like what they're saying here is don't be too impulsive. Don't take action too quickly. Wait, observe, watch, allow for a better opportunity. 
Knight of Swords says if you react too soon, you could regret it. It might just mean there's a better opportunity for coming for you. Don't panic and think, oh, well, if I act, something bad's going to happen. That's not necessarily what I mean. It just might be that if you act impulsively, you might not get as good an opportunity as you would get in the future. So, yes, there's something to be said for you guys this week that something is over and you've won the war, right? You've won the battle. But you're still somewhat in a comfort zone and you need to break out of it. Again, though, it's a balance, it's a careful balancing act because they're saying, yes, take action. Yes, be focused. Yes, notice where you need to, where you've won, what you need to let go of, where you need to move to. But don't be too reckless. Don't be too impulsive. Maybe don't take action this week. Maybe wait a tiny bit longer. Hope this makes sense. Loads of love. See you on the next reading or in a private reading. In the meantime, see you soon. Hi, group three. How are you doing? So the fountain, this is a uh, spirit guide messages for you. The fountain, nine of swords, four of swords, six of coins and the world. Okay, so for you guys, um, your spirit guide message is to go to a higher level. You are preoccupied with fear and anxiety. You are preoccupied with negative thinking or stress. Um, this might be your own self-fulfilling prophecy. So you could be worrying unnecessarily and creating problems for yourself through worrying unnecessarily, but not all of you. Some of you may have genuine reasons to be worried. However, this kind of worrying will not help you. That doesn't mean you should shut yourself down, but it does mean you shouldn't encourage it any more than you need to, right? I hope I've phrase that correctly because what they're saying is you need to actually give yourself a break and a rest from the anxiety the fountain is saying that nothing's moving for you you're not shifting things are not happening for you but what they're actually saying is they'll only move when you go up into a higher gear you need to resonate at a higher level you need to feel more positive um interact with things in a more in a healthier way it's not toxic positivity here i'm not saying just whack a happy face sticker on anything no if something bad is happening feel the bad feelings and allow them and process them and then move forwards right sticking a happy face sticker on it won't work necessarily because um i i have some I, it's a complicated subject right i actually wrote a, a blog post on this once um so <laughs> I do think there is a place for um, sticking happy face sticker on things. However, I also agree and they are saying that, yes, there's a need to process feelings. You can't run away from it because it will just hang around and follow you like a black cloud. So no, you must process things. But what they're saying is you need to recover from the unnecessary angst. We all do it, that unnecessary rumination, worrying, Worrying about things we can't change and going over and over things, not being able to let things go. I think that's the key. The four of swords is saying you need to rest, recuperate, allow what's hurt you to, to go, let go of it in your life, you know, and to allow something new to come in. The six of coins is saying, you know, it's about balance. It's about equal giving and receiving. It's about being in tune and it is about moving into a period of tranquility. It could be someone making you an offer. It could be you making someone else an offer. But it's about reciprocation. So it needs to be, you need to be in reciprocal relationships. And you need to be looking at reciprocation in your relationships. Are you giving more than you should be? Are you taking more than you should be? What's going on? That's an answer to your anxiety or your stress and the problems. It's also an answer to why things are stuck. If you can understand this with the embrace card, this is the world. This is about going to a new level. This could be also about travel. So there could be some opportunity to travel or to move or to take action to go to a new situation. Okay. What I would say is that it's all about going to a new frequency that's going to it's the solution but it's also the answer you have to feel better think better before you can move to better i hope this makes sense loads of love see you on the next reading or on a private reading in the meantime bye bye